In this lecture, we are going to add another nice small feature to our API. Now, it is possible that for our Express app, there might be a route which is getting a lot of requests. And for such route, which might be a bit complex with a lot of query strings, we can provide a simple alias to easily access it. For example, we might want to provide a route specifically for five best highest rated movies. Now, if we use our regular routes here with the filters and with all the features which we already have, the request will look a little bit like this. So there, since we want to have five records, we can set this limit query string to five. And then we also want to sort the result by ratings in descending order. Okay, and if I go ahead and if I make a request in the result, it should give us top five highest rated movies. But if you see here, I can see the length as eight. That means we have received all the movie objects. And that's because here it should be limit and not P limit. Let me make the request again. And now we have only five movie objects in the response. And if you notice, the highest rated movie is at the top. So these are five highest rated movies from the eight movie objects which we have. So let's say this is the URL which is getting a lot of requests. Now this URL is a bit simple. So we might not want to create an alias route for such simple URLs. But in your case, in your project, this URL might contain a lot of query strings. So there you can use this alias routing feature. Let me show you how we can achieve it. Let's go to VS Code. And first of all, let's go to this movies route. So we are defining this movies route inside this routes folder. Okay, so here we have defined all our routes. Now here at the top, I'm going to define a new route. For that, I can say router dot route. And then here we need to provide a name for the route. So let's simply call it highest rated. Okay, so whenever a user will make a request, to root URL slash movies slash highest rated. In the result, we are going to show the five most highest rated movies. Okay. And on this, we are going to use this get method. So basically here, the HTTP method is going to be get. And to this get method, first of all, we are going to pass this route handler function. So basically this get all movies route handler function. But before we can call this get all movies route handler, we basically want to prefill some of the fields and the query strings. So we already know that our query string should look something like this, right? So what we are going to do is on the request object, we have the query object. So in that query object, we are going to prefill this limit field, this limit property with the value five and this sort property with the value ratings. And we are going to do all this inside a middleware. So before we call this get all movies route handler, we want to call a middleware and we are going to define that middleware inside this movies controller. So let me copy this. Let's paste it here. Okay. And let's simply call it maybe get highest rated. You can also provide a meaningful name to it, but here I'm simply going to call it get highest rated. And we are going to define this middleware function inside movies controller. So here at the top, I'm going to create this middleware function. So for that, I will simply say exports dot the middleware function equals. And then here I'm going to use the arrow function syntax. So since we are going to create a middleware function, this middleware function is going to receive three arguments, the request object, the response object, and the next function now on the request object we are going to have a query object and this query object basically stores all the query string as a key value pair so on this query object what i'm going to do is i'm going to manipulate this query object and there i'm going to add a limit property and i'm going to set this limit property to five because in the result we only want five movie objects then on the same query object I'm also going to add another property sort. So basically we want to sort the result in descending order based on ratings. So to this sort, I'm going to assign ratings because we want to sort the result by ratings and we want to sort it in descending order. That's why I'm going to use this minus sign here. 
Now you might ask why I am setting this 5 as a string to this limit field. Because if you remember, in the query object, we have the query string as a key value pair. And each key has a string value assigned to it. Even though we are passing a number, that number will be first converted to string and then it will be assigned to it. So that's why I am signing a string here. And these are the two query strings which we want in order to achieve our requirement. Right. So we want to have a limit query string with the value 5 and the sweat query string with the value ratings. And since we want to sort it in descending order, we have also used minus in front of it. Now, if you have more query strings, then you can go ahead and you can add those query strings like we are doing here. And finally, once you are done, don't forget to call the next method. Otherwise, the next middleware in this stack will not get called. All right. So what we are doing here is we are pre-filling the query strings with some value in the request object without even specifying the query string in the URL. Okay. So let's save the changes here. Let's go to movies route. There also let's save the changes. And here we have an error and it says requires a callback function but got an object. If we go to this movies controller. All right. We need to define this function outside of this get all movies. So I was defining it inside this get all movies function. So that's why we had that error. Let's save the changes here. So now we don't have any error. Now let's go back to Postman. And there, instead of specifying these query strings, after movies, we need to specify the name of the route. And what is the name of the route we have specified? If I go to this movies route here, the name of the route is highest rated. So let me copy this from here. Let's go to Postman. Let's paste it there. And when I click on the send button, it should give us five movie objects. And all these five movie objects should be sorted in descending order. So here you can see the first movie object has this rating 8.6. If I scroll down, the second movie object has this rating 7.9. Then third movie object has this rating 7.7. Then we have 7.2. And then we have 7. So here we have five movie objects all sorted in descending order based on their ratings. And here in the URL, we don't need to specify the query string to get the highest rated movies. Instead, we can simply use this highest rated in the URL to get the five most highest rated movies in the result. All right. Now let's quickly see how it is working. So let me go back to VS Code. So when we are going to make a request to root URL slash movies slash highest rated, it is first going to call this get highest rated middleware. If we go back to the get highest rated middleware, there what we are simply doing is on the query object, we are setting some properties, right? So we are setting this limit property on the query object with this value 5. And then we are setting this sort property on this query object with this value minus ratings. And after that, we are calling the next middleware. So the next middleware in this tag is get all movies middleware. So from there, this get all movies middleware will be called. And to that get all movies middleware, we are going to receive the request and response object. Now in that request object, this query object has been manipulated. So in that request object, we are going to have the query object. And in that query object, we are going to have two fields, limit with the value 5 and sort with the value minus ratings. And now if we scroll down, we have not applied any filters. So this logic is not going to be executed. But we do have a sort property inside this query object. So this if condition will return true. And then here we are creating the sort by variable. Currently, we have only one sort field and that is assigned with the value ratings minus rating so that will be returned and it will be assigned to the sort by and then we are sorting the query the result by that field by the ratings field and then if i scroll down we're not specifying any fields in the url so that's okay and then if i come to this line on the query string we also have a property called limit and that is assigned with the value 5 so that 5 will be assigned to this limit variable and that's why when this line will execute in the result it is only going to return five records okay so i hope it is clear how this implementation is working this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day